Hi, my name is Amberlyn, and this is my mom, Emma. My life is miserable. Me and my mom have been living in the street for 15 years, and trust me, it is not great. I mean, I don't mind living in a cozy and comfortable place, but definitely not in here. Next to a thrift store, and where people become crazy at night? Yeah, no thanks. Me and my mom struggle finding a job. In my country, if you're 14, you cannot get a job. But I have may or may not lied about my age. Well, hello, who wouldn't do that if they want to help out their mom? Anywho, let's get to the video. Okay, I found this. Now I'm just gonna wait for her to wake up. This could be her breakfast. And I will starve myself for a day again. Now I'm gonna get this. And now I'm gonna wait for people to give me money. Hey mom, oh, hey mom. Hey sweetie, this is your sandwich. Eat it up. Isn't this like expired? Well, be grateful, at least you're eating something and I'm not. I'm not starving, you can take it. Oh, thanks. Another day, another bad day, where we're still poor. But mom, you promised me that one day we'll be successful and rich. Well, the day didn't come yet. Well, you promised me and you lied to me. I'm sorry, it's not by choice, but I promise you it's gonna be there one day. It's either gonna be for you or me, or both of us, whatever. Meanwhile, at the rich man business. Ugh, when is she gonna come? I am so sorry, sir. I know that I'm late. First of all, you did not knock. And Mr. Robot is not charged. And he didn't tell you to come in when I asked him to. You didn't do anything I told you. I'm sorry, but my two kids got sick and I had to go back home really early. And who let you go? My, my, myself. I'm sorry, sir, okay? I have kids I need to take care of. Well, obviously you're not gonna take care of them if you don't have the money. That's why I pay you because you work for me. I'm sorry, sir. I promise you it won't happen again. <laughs> you said that like 10,000 times and you still lie to me? Who lies to Mr. Richard? Obviously you do. I'm sorry, I can go charge him right now. You think that will make me forgive you? I'm sick and tired of having you here. I'm actually gonna get another helper that helps my business. But you, on the other hand, you're not even doing anything that you're supposed to do for your job. I'm firing you. I can't believe I picked you out of 199 people that wanted this job. I'm so- I'm sorry. Ugh, get out! Please, sir, give me another chance. You know what? I'll give you one. Go print out these papers. Sure. Hiring a new helper? You're hiring a new helper? Why are you reading my papers? Mind your own business. You'll get only paid $10 for doing this, and then I'm kicking you out. Yes, sir. Ugh. This is part two. I'm out of breath. I just came from soccer practice. Ew, is that hair? Yes, sir. Ugh, I can't believe he's getting rid of me. I really thought he liked me. Whatever, I should start printing. At least he's paying me $10. I guess I'm gonna have to look for a new job. He's so rude. Here you go, sir. Here's a suitcase. Why are you giving it to me? What am I supposed to do with it? Go pass it out. In the whole town. The whole what? You heard me loud and clear. Pushes. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I guess I'm gonna have to pay you 20 for that. Oh, I'm getting really tired. Can you take over, sweetie? Sure, mom. Good night. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put here. <laughs> I'm gonna put one. What? I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one in the thrift store. I'm gonna put one here. Now let's go to my next destination. Huh? Did she just drop a paper? What's that? Hiring a new helper at Mr. Richard Business. Oh my God! You have to be joking, Mom. Oh my God! Are we dying? Is the police here? No. Chill down. Look what I found. Oh my God! I love you so much. I know, I love me too. Oh my god. Aw, here you go. Have a nice day. Oh my gosh, did we just... Ew, why are you guys everywhere? Stop following me, creeps. At this point, I really don't care if what he said. We just got $10. You can buy an outfit. Oh my god, yes. 
Here, give me that. Let's go to the thrift store. Okay, I'm gonna put that right over there. To close our house. Let's go. Whoa. Welcome at Toka's thrift store. How may I help you today? We're here to look for a casual outfit. Of course. What's your budget? It could be around 10 and under. Yeah, of course. You can only have this one, this one, this one, and that one, and that one, and this one. That's all you can get for $10. Ugh, they're all ugly. Hmm, the best one I see is probably this one. Actually, no, that one. Yeah, so much better. $10, please. Here you go, sir. Thank you, bye. Oh my god, it's so comfy. Wait, it starts at 6 39. Mom, it's 6 50. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late. I gotta go. I'm coming! Whoa, this place is huge. Hello, ma'am. How may I help you today? I'm here to get hired. Okay, it's one at a time, so who's looking to get a job? Me. Okay, I'll sign you up. Get ready and go upstairs. But you, little girl, you're gonna stay with the kids. Kids? What do I look like to you? Five? I mean, you sure act like one. Um, you sound like one. Ugh. Hey, why do you have blonde hair? Why do you smell like a fish? <laughs> this is part three, and I beg you deeply in my soul not to shoot that cat, please. <laughs> That's rude. Oh my gosh, somebody get me out of here. Okay, ma'am, here's your paper. These are all your instructions. Okay, thanks, bye. Thanks, go. Mom, wait! Wow, okay. I'm pretty sure this is floor 56. Okay, so... Holy moly! What the cheese crackers? This line is bigger than my dad. Okay, everybody. So one out of time is gonna go in. If you're not gonna be patient, then get out of here. Because that's one of the instructions. Be patient. Okay, you go first. <laughs> Thank you. So what do you do on your job? Fuller with Mr. Rick. Out. Next. Hey, I'm not even done. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Ugh, next! Oh, please, sir, give me another chance. Get out. Yes, baby. What the? Oh my god, the last one. Hello. Hi, honey. Hey, what's your name? My name is Emma. Emma? More like Ella. What the crocodiles? You pass. What? We didn't even ask her the questions. Yeah, that's not fair. She passed me, she passed. Don't disrespect me or obey my rules. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Whatever. Hey, okay, thank you so much. Here you go. These are your work clothes. You're gonna have so much fun with me. Oh, I'm sure I will. Mr. Richard, we have a really important meeting we need to go to. Yeah, yeah, okay. Gotta go. You better not take my boo-boo bear. Boo-boo bear who? Don't make me tell him to fire you. <laughs> Girl, he likes the black-headed more. Well, in my eyes, I see he likes the blondies. <sighs> Go get a life. Girl, what am I in right now? A trash can? Oh, yeah, I am talking to one. <laughs> get out of my face before I throw up. <laughs> Come back. One? Yes, ma'am. Girl is a CEO. Better than what my job is. And is scared of me. Girl. A few months passed after Mrs. Emma and Mr. Richard came along. They decided to come together. Until... Ugh, I'm so tired. You can go rest. I'll continue trying to get some money. How much did you get today, Mommy? I got about six... I got about $69,000. Oh my god, we're gonna be filthy rich. Of course he pays me the most. Uh, I'm gonna go take a nap a little bit. Dad, I told you I wanted the new Nintendo Switch, not this one. Come on, son, it's better than nothing. I told you I want the new one. Now my friends are going to make fun of me. Ugh, hold up. Yeah? Is that Amberlyn? Amberlyn, um, Emma's daughter? Yeah. Mom! Yes, sweetie? Stranger danger. Oh my gosh. This is not what it looks like. You are... Ooh, drama, drama. Now I'm going to unpack my new clothes. Ugh, why does my stepbrother hate me so much? I mean, I do understand. My mom did replace his mom. <laughs> Ew, don't do that in front of me. Come on, he's your new dad. We can do anything together. Mom, how could you replace dad? And don't you feel bad for replacing your own son's wife? No, I'm great. I love your mother. 
Mom, what if he does the same thing to you and leaves you just like he left his ex? He won't do it. He loves me so much, right, babe? Yes, babe. Um, that's how he liked his wife, too. You should be grateful that you live under a roof. Last time, I remember that we used to live in a street. But, baby, can you give us a moment? Of course. You better be good. I don't care of what I'm doing. At least we live under a roof and we're rich now. Got it? Yeah, Mom. I know your stepbrother hates you, but I don't care about his feelings. But he's your son now, so he's not my biological son. But don't butt me. Ugh. I should really go talk to my stepbrother. Oh my god, his room is huge. Where is he? Huh? I hear crying. Whoa. How many pets are here? <laughs> stepbrother? Huh? What are you doing here? You're not allowed to come up here. I'm sorry, I just wanted to come talk to you. Jeez. Well, I don't want you to talk to me. I've never seen a boy cry. Well, now you did. Happy? No, I'm not happy, but if you want me to be, I'm totally fine with that. Oh my god, just shut up. You ruined my life and you're happy with that. I promise you I'm not. It wasn't by choice. My mom did it because she felt bad for me living in a street since I was a baby. My dad died before I was born, okay? But you obviously don't understand. Or maybe you don't understand because my dad replaced my mother with your mother. I guess my dad doesn't have taste. Okay, I won't let you talk about my mother like that. But I do agree with you. You, you do? Yes, of course I do. I never wanted to be here. I'd rather kill myself than replace somebody. I care about people's feelings, but some people don't, and one of them is my mom. We started chatting, and then we started getting along. We became best buddies. We would play with the animals together, we would play games together, and make songs together. And even at school. Hey! Oh my gosh, Patricia, can you stop following me around? I know you're obsessed with me like every single girl, but I don't like you. I told you that like 16,000 times. But, Boo Boo Bear! Ew, don't call me that! Seriously, dude, don't call him that. Excuse me, back off. And who are you? I'm his guard. I don't care, I'm taking him anyways. Hey, move! Mind your own business and stop harassing my brother. That's your sister? Yeah. Hi, Aunt Berlin. Come on, dude. I know you're obsessed with my sister. Hey, bestie. Can I come over at your guys' house today? Oh my god, yes. Yeah, you come too. I'm coming. That's the end of this roleplay. Comment down more roleplay ideas. I should...